I'm using text-to-speech because I don't know how my mic will work for this tutorial, so enjoy having Shadow help you. Apologies for any mispronounced words as a result of text-to-speech. I will add captions to this when I can. Scroll through your material tab to make sure you have the right stuff downloaded. The first material I showed there will be used later on as an optional step. Since we know it's there we can move on. Next, go to the Auto Action tab. If you don't have it set up in your workspace already, go up to Window and scroll down and click Auto Action. I moved the cursor over the little icon in the Auto Action tab with an arrow going down it. Click this to add downloaded materials to your set of existing auto actions. Double click on the material once you find it under downloads. I can't show it for whatever reason here on my screen recording. The first action I use is the line effect. It works for both raster and vector layers. I'm using raster in this case. Click it and the two icons next to its text to make sure you can fully control it. Then hit the bottom play button. The action does the work for you, but you can adjust the settings of what's being added to it. For this I just leave it at the default Gaussian blur of 6. This should have added a multiply layer at 89% above your line layer. Next is the color filter. I use this under the line layer and above the color ones. Just click on it and it should create two color layers that fill the picture. Adjust the opacity to your liking. Sorry it took a while here for me to readjust the opacity. For the rest of the actions, you need to have everything on one layer. I would suggest saving first. Right click on a layer and hit flatten image. Up next the retro blur. I hit the second box once again so I can have control over the amount of Gaussian blur used. I use the default number here as well. This action automatically merges the two layers created. The step here is optional but I like it as a nice subtle bonus to make the picture look more low quality. Once again I scroll over to the set called this action set. By what treat. Add it to the auto actions tab like you did before with my set. Then scroll down to the action titled lower quality. Hit play and go with its default settings. Lastly is the Vizia screen effect. I like to adjust it down to the 11 to 15 range on the blur for it. Once it finishes adding blurs you can move the layers around to change its look. The last thing I do is add noise. I will link the exact set I use in the description. I chose the second of the three options in the folder which translate to noise blur. Drag it over from the material to on top of the picture. Scale it down to be closer to the size of the picture. Then set the layer mode to soft light. Change the opacity somewhere between 30 and 40 percent. I hope this helped anyone who's had any issues using it. Otherwise thank you for watching this tutorial. Later.